when women call themselves traditional, you know the facepalm is about to happen. These days everyone loves to say they deserve this and that, but just a few work for it. Single moms are just that type of person. All they bring to the table is the baby daddy drama, baggage and zero availability for you. In fact, they'll treat you as an option while they want you to treat them as a priority. Their hypocrisy knows no limits. Check this out. When you're on a certain level of your conscious of like your business, of like yourself in general, you can't date a regular guy. It's like, yeah, I had the guys who was like really nice to me and but they, I don't say they, they could provide me a regular life, but I am too ambitious for that. I, I am too ambitious to settle for an average guy. Translation. I want to live a particular lifestyle, but I have made the wrong life choices to get me there on my own, so now I need someone to fund that lifestyle for me. It's amazing that she thinks an ambitious rich man is going to come along to save a single mom with neck tattoos with narcissistic tendencies. Life, but I am too ambitious for that. You're I'm, too ambitious? Yeah. How much money do you make right now? Um... I guess that means she makes nothing. Funny how she thinks she is too good for an average hard-working man, yet she has nothing to her name. If only ambition and drive could pay the bills. She's a lost cause, just another single mother asking for a top 1% man. Her ambition is to find another person's money. Men have ambition to make a good life to attract a good wife. Here's a hint, ladies. Don't get all your education on TikTok. She can't even tell herself how she will achieve all she wants. Therefore, she will grow old and bitter. If she can't visualize the steps after figuring out what to be that achieves those goals, it's no wonder she can't defend herself. She said ambitious. That's different. No, I don't, I don't count. I don't. Want, I don't want to say because more like, than six figures. Huh? No, no, no. Well, you're I'm you're right. 28. You have a s child in tow. I mean, I just moved to America. Like, don't forget that. Like, I just. Oh, boo -hoo. Let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin. Guys, we cannot make her accountable for her actions. It's okay, she just moved to a new country with a child and no way to fund her lifestyle. She is a victim. We don't know her story. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Yeah, I start from, the, from the scratch yeah, here. Okay, so question. She has no idea what it means to struggle. She came here and had to get it from scratch, but yet has men paying for babysitters. Delusional. Yeah, but start from the, from the scratch yeah, here. Okay, so question, what... And so you you want an ambitious partner then? Huh? You want I'm, an ambitious partner? Mm -hmm. Do you want a successful partner who's currently successful? Uh, no, we can grow together. I'm good. But how much uh, does a guy need to make per year for you? I don't. I don't have that. I don't care because I. So she's saying she needs a rich man. Because I had guys who has a lot of money, but they spend a lot because they like have super luxury lifestyle. Sure. And I had a guy who's like making the same money, but. He has a regular lifestyle, so he does. He saved more than he like spending. So I don't care how much he's making. I care how much he provide for me and of like course, our she said family. She cares about, about how plan. much he provides me and our family. When in reality, she meant how much he provides me and my child. I don't need a rich man. I just need a man who's able to buy at least two houses, cars, support at least five kids, and pay for the babysitter. Most men make around forty, fifty k a year. That's not enough to pay for her delusions. And like our family. About his financial so. decisions. Yeah, yeah. This like, he, he should, should be smart about money I because can... I am smart about money. I'm like saving. I want to buy properties. I don't want to. Are you? I don't want to work every. Fi the fact that her child isn't her number one priority tells you all you have to know. Money because I, can... I am smart about money. I'm good with money, huh? A man who does have a good mind for money is going to say, single mom. Not doing it. I have to save money. That's the conundrum these single moms find themselves in. Not to mention the massive neck tattoo tells me she is not very smart with money. I'm like saving. I want to buy properties. I don't want to. Are you? I don't want to work every f day. I want to you, work. You, you, say, you say you're smart about money, but you previously had to have men pay for your babysitters to go on dates. I was broken as f I, I just moved smart to with America. My See, this is hypocrisy. Women want the whole package, but they want you to accept them, no matter their flaws. You must be in shape and have a good financial position. And hey, how dare you spend that much? You should be saving to fund my lifestyle. That's what she really means. It's okay if she wants a provider and protector, 
but it's not okay to use men for their money. Also, she's always excusing herself. The guy with the luxurious lifestyle might want to do whatever he wants with his hard-earned money, so she's not anyone to tell him what to do. If she doesn't like it, she can get another man, just like a man who doesn't want a single mom ain't marrying a single mom. Immigrating to give her family a better life, right? You never but experienced that. Are you American? Well, I was born in France, so I have French citizenship and I have a U.S. But you citizenship. You were born as a citizen. But You'll never know you, the struggles of You was not uh, moving to another country like when you was an adult. Immigrant. And you're no. not a woman. You were never an immigrant. So. Like, that, well, that's so different. And you're white. If, what is Honestly, I don't know how Brian can endure speaking to such low-quality women every day. This is giving me a headache already. Women will do anything and everything they can to victimize themselves. It's truly sad how you can just blame everything and everyone instead of taking responsibility for actions and actually doing something about your situation. What does my skin color have to do <laughs> with this? Go privilege? We all know. No, what does my skin color have to do with White dating? White privilege. What do you mean? Well, I, in America. I, I reject that, but... So why, why, uh, why are we it's bringing, so different don't, so don't you people, think it's a bit don't you think it's a bit racist to bring up skin color in a dating conversation? No, I've heard you say this before. It's not racist at all. There's nothing racist being said. To highlight someone's no, skin I just color. No, that there's a privilege being that way instead of a woman if there was coming a to America seven months ago from another country. That's she's gonna have it. And the, the if, way, if it, hold on, okay, hold on. okay, sure. If there was a black girl at this table and and and. I was attempting to dismiss her point because of the, her skin color. You don't think that would be racist? There's no dismissing a point. That you wasn't were, the point of this. You were saying that I don't have, because I'm white, I don't have... You can't relate. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'm a human... And you're not a woman. I said woman, too. You didn't say anything about that. Well, I'll... She is an OnlyFans girl, and she makes over six figures per month. Yet she's here talking about, you're not a woman, as if being a woman puts you at a disadvantage. When she knows damn well... No man can make six figures a month doing nothing like she can. You can't really talk about men being privileged when they just talked about how this woman had her date paid for by a man. The woman has demonstrated that she has privilege. Modern women have life on easy mode and act like they are oppressed. You are a white man. She talking like white men just get handed stuff. Anyways, let's keep watching. Hey, if it, hold on. Okay, hold on. okay, sure. If there was a black girl at this table and... and, and I was attempting to dismiss her point because of the, her skin color. You don't think that would be racist? There's no dismissing a point. That you wasn't were, the point of this. You were saying that I don't have, because I'm white, I don't have... You can't relate. You don't know what you're talking about. She said, I'm not dismissing your point, but you can't relate because you're not a woman. She should just come out and admit she barely has any brain cells, and she was losing the argument, so she had to bring race into a discussion about dating. She is the perfect example of the three A's that all modern women want. One. The authority of a man, too. The advantages of a woman, three. The accountability of a child. Well, I'm a human. And you're not a woman. I said woman, too. You didn't say anything about that. Well, I'll address that after. Both. I'll address that after, but I, do, I can have an opinion, opinion on things because I'm a human with a functioning brain and I'm capable of rational Relatable, thought. Relatable, that's what I Can meant. you stop cutting you me off? You can't relate. Can you stop cutting me off, please? Yes, Brian. Bro, what's the, you, you've got, I mean, I'm not surprised your issues with men. You've got an attitude. I've been perfectly polite to you, but this is not an attitude. If you can't, I mean, you're interrupting me. You're cutting me off. Yes, I'm not Brian. Cutting it's being, me. you're being a little this condescending. This is a conversation. We're going back and forth. Okay. That Bob Marley hairstyle looks terrible on her. But hey, let's talk about her thoughts, not her looks. She cuts off all the time, has a certain attitude, and even justifies racist remarks. She's free to say whatever she wants and have a terrible hairstyle. But if men don't want to have her as a partner. She better self-reflect because she doesn't bring anything of value to the table. Well, maybe some stupid arguments and everything men don't like at all. Anyways, so, to guys. address the woman thing, what I don't see how being a woman immigrant makes it more complicated than if you were a male immigrant. Especially when she just gets men to pay for babysitters and dates. A male immigrant will have to work his ass off at some warehouse and put in 12 plus hour shifts. Men don't get handouts. It's actually, I would assume it's actually harder to be a male Im Im immigrant. Mm -hmm. Oh, and single mom? Then single mom? I don't think so. You well, have more responsibility for a kid. You have to take care of your kid. Single dad. If, if you want to do one-to-one, -one, then you'd have to think a single dad. But you're, you're, single you're not single dad. 
Well, I'm not talk- an immigrant either. We're, this is a hypothetical scenario. So basically, uh, the way I moved to America and the way, uh, like, the, the first months after I moved was happening, it was, like, too crazy. So I was in that position where I have no... I had a lot of choice, but just because I have something that I can do, like, okay, right now I'm in that position. I can do that. I can make this money. I can be smarter than everybody else. And that's it. So I... I don't think it's like an issue and yeah. No, he it, it started off saying that he's saying that you are not smart with your money because of what you did when oh, you I'm first so came to smart. the country. I was so smart However, about the money. I think I agree, but I think when you come to any country, it doesn't even matter if you have you were born here and now you hit rock bottom, if you need to do whatever you had to do to feed your child, then it is what it is. Not like she's out there on on corners doing whatever she needed to do. No offense to those people, but I'm just saying, like, it could have been worse. You can offend them <laughs> if you want. You can well, offend whatever, the street you gotta walkers. Do, you gotta do what you, you gotta have do. to. You have to do some bullshit before you, you, you become can a great the person. It's, it's okay. just, I don't yeah. want to offend them. Offend the you prostitutes. Know. They're watching right now. No, I don't want to. Get your big sis. Get your big sis. <laughs> that single mom is proof that women wait at the finish line and pick the winners. She's a walking red flag, but still wants a provider and protector. She's got a kid, L, which is a major burden. But where's the baby daddy? Only God knows. Let's check some comments. She literally has men throwing money at her just to hang out with her, and then states that her life is harder than men's. Nectat and Medusa need to start their own podcast. These two are very, very special. Complete nonsense. For an unrepentant liar and a thief, a neck tattoo has a lot of standards for men, and braids are insufferable. These women are really sad and delusional. She says being a single mother from Ukraine is hard. What about all the Ukrainian men that are rounded up and sent to war? They're getting slaughtered. She gets to live, the men don't. So ungrateful it's disgusting. The girl has a face tattoo and has the audacity to say she is smart with her money. In the next clip, there are more reality checks on single moms, this time focusing on a single mom with an OnlyFans page. This era is all about tolerance, except for men, of course. Men are expected to perform all the time, but a single mom can freely open her OnlyFans and claim that everything she's doing is for her kid. But what about a regular job? No, these women know that the simp economy is booming, so they get naked and start earning money just for posting provocative pictures. Check this out. Ugh. I feel like there's levels. Like, you can't be fucking nasty to somebody and be like, you're a fat ass bitch. You know, if, if, my, we should if do that. my friend, if Except. my friend, uh, if it's somebody that's close to me and I see that it's a problem like health wise, mm-hmm. yeah, I absolutely feel like you should be able to tell them like, hey, listen, I love you, but uh, lay off the crackers a little bit. Um, you know what I mean? I think we need to bring bullying back. I think we need to make fun of fat people. Uh, I agree. The world has gone so soft now it's a joke. You cannot criticize anyone anymore without them crying about it. Nobody can have opinion about anything without someone being offended. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because the thing is, is that we live in a world where it's anti-bullying, be nice, you know, my feelings and all this other bullshit. No, I think we need to go back to telling people that they're stupid. I think we need to go back to telling people that they're fat. I think we need to go back to telling people and highlighting their inadequacies. I think the reason why so many people are mediocre is because we condone mediocrity and we tell them it's okay. And uh, people are soft, but you're... I don't know about bullying, but I could agree with some with that. Well, here's the thing, though. Like, if you criticize someone, it's considered bullying. So, yeah. mm-hmm. I mean, I guess to, in today's standards, I, I would. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, but yeah. it, it, but it's all about how you say things. To me, it's like you can you can say something like a bully, and the message will get completely lost. Or you could say something like you care. To women, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, like in general, there's a lot of okay. Yeah. All right. Like on your show, but nah, yeah, you should you should say things <laughs> to people with respect because at, at at the end of the day, you should have some sort of respect for people. But I do agree with the fact that, yeah, people are a little gotten very sensitive. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. When you're in the military, mm-hmm. right, and you're about to go to war, does a drill sergeant say, hey, you know, I think you should do these push-ups. You know, I think you should crawl under this. No, they say, hey, you fucking maggot, go do this, blah, blah, blah. Why? Because it's do or die, correct? To Myron's point about do or die, what he means is that the majority of people treat change as something they have all the time in the world to start by being hard and criticizing people of what they are and that they need to change, is essentially trying to bring back tough love. More importantly, it is trying to get people angry enough, or start that fire in the belly, that is big enough for people to start and keep the momentum going. 
Most people don't start let alone keep going. If anyone takes too long to start, it will never happen. When people face an obstacle, failure, or setback, they end the momentum by quitting. According to Dr. John Maxwell, people only change when 1. They hurt enough they have to, 2. They see enough they are inspired to, 3. When they learn enough that they want to, and 4. When they receive enough that they are able to. Yeah. Okay, so if you really want to get shit done, mm -hmm. you need to behave like it's do or die. There's a reason why trainers that are very good, drill sergeants, etc., yell at people to get a certain response back. So you want the world to be just a militant type of life for everyone. Everyone should just be military style, get up, breathe, eat, shit. No, the world is well, do, do or die. The, the gaslighting is real. They mean that in order to change and evolve, people need to be told that they need to be disciplined. If a woman is told all the time that she's hot, she won't develop her mindset. However, if she gets put in her place, especially by her dad or partner, she might wish to self-improve just a little bit to offer more than looks. Or not, she may dump the guy because he's quote-unquote abusive and find a man who will say yes to all the bullshit she says. The thing is, the thing is, is that people are soft, people are mediocre, and oh, it's great. because no one kicks them in the ass. And here's the thing. Men tend to fare, uh, fare favorably to this type of coaching, being yelled at, etc. Women, on the other hand, are the ones that have an issue a lot of the times with how information is conveyed. And I can tell you this from experience. I've coached thousands of men, hundreds of women. And what I've realized is when I, this is why I personally don't like to coach women, because when you coach women, you have to speak to them a certain way. They're more concerned with how the information is conveyed versus mm -hmm. the quality of information conveyed. Men, on the other hand, is they don't care about how the information is conveyed if they're looking to you for guidance. They care more about the information that is conveyed. So the problem with women a lot of times is they're emotional. And since they're emotional, even though the quality of the information is high, they're not going to take it in appropriately. Okay. So with women, you have to watch how you say things. But the problem is that sometimes you have to say things in a way so it gets through to them because it's a dire situation. But they will disqualify the information and stay up to be a fat piece of shit instead of doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> Which is why when you look oh at obesity, there's more fat women than there are fat men. Mm -hmm. That's true. Because women can't handle the truth a lot of times, unfortunately. Okay. So, and that means do or die. Because if you don't lose the weight, you're gonna die. Yeah. And and the other thing oh. too, right? Women get. I hate to say this, but women get positive reinforcement for being fat. We tell them, "Love your curves. You go, girl. You're a queen. Fuck mm -hmm. what everyone says. We got plus size dresses for you. If you're a fat dude, bitches aren't sucking your dick, bro. If you're a fat woman, That's there's still going to be losers out there that watch BBW porn. Yep. So mm -hmm. as a fat woman, you can still get by in life. As a fat man, unless you got money, and nobody's fucking with you. He almost read your mind and mine. Rick Ross, DJ Khaled, and other overweight men have women attracted to them because they've got tons of cash under the mattress. If these guys were just regular individuals, they wouldn't have as much success with women, and women might discard them immediately. Fat women like Lizzo are encouraged to embrace their bodies because it's supposedly a statement of independence, but in reality, they'll probably have to depend on doctors and medicines to get healthy afterward. This is what I mean. Remember how I said top of the show, women's life is on easy mode? That's a component of what I mean. Mediocrity is 100% acceptable as a female in 2023. Okay. Anything else? Merry Christmas. Well, I would disagree. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Just a little bit, like you kind of, like earlier when you were saying how women live life on easy mode with like only fans and like basically um capitalizing off their sexuality and everything that was just one example yeah well uh, i think those specific examples that you detailed it doesn't really lead to like long-term fulfillment and stuff like you mentioned like the fat women be getting laid easier than the fat man and stuff women don't really like place as much emphasis on that like compared to men so it's kind of like from the male pers mating perspective, I guess, because that's what they value. But for like women and their mating strategies, it it's just not what we prioritize, if that makes sense. You mean looks? What do you mean? As far as for men, do you, uh, we don't prioritize looks in men. Or we don't prioritize we like don't. because because you talked about. I addressed like, that. I said, if you're fat as a guy, you better have money. No, I'm talking about like when you were saying a woman live life on easy mode because they yeah. can capitalize off of looks yeah. to get sex or like capitalize like use only fans basically to like get sex or the fat woman can get sex it's like yeah it's just mostly around that and women yeah obviously we value that but not as much as kind of like the long-term fulfillment 
So my argument is that from a man from the outside, it looks like, oh, yeah, women are win winning because they get more, you know, sexual access because that's what they value. Yeah. But for women, because we value a more stable, like long term relationship, like stability, it the goal is not met. So like it's not on easy mode because our goal isn't fulfilled. Yeah, but if you're a woman, right, you're going to get approached, correct? Yeah. And of those men that approach you, you can pick the one that you want, correct? Yeah. So there you go. At least you get the opportunity. Versus a man is never going to get the opportunity unless he becomes a somebody. The explanation couldn't be clearer. You see, women do live life in easy mode. If they're pretty, they'll get guys. And if they're not, they'll get guys too, no matter how ugly their personalities are. Men capitalize on their success to attract women, but women capitalize on their looks to attract men. As Myron says, men and women are not the same. Let's check some comments. Nobody worries about being kind to a man when they're telling him the truth. Why should we accept the opposite as a double standard for women? If a person is constantly trying to tell you something in the nicest way possible with a calm voice, and you're constantly showing them that you aren't paying attention, either they gonna decide you aren't worth the effort and the time anymore, or they gonna start telling you about yourself in a way that you just can't ignore anymore. Sure, you can get mad and upset or whatever, but you can't just ignore it anymore. And that's the point. When they ignore you for being too nice, it's time to get tough just so they listen. If women get offended, that's their problem. But at least the ball is in their court to make smart decisions, which they'll never do. This is what happens when you try to act class in an argument where you know you winning, but the opponent is a fool and isn't in an argument for the sake of seeing the other's point of view to refute, but simply have a bias straight to their core, and they know this subconsciously they are losing, so they play the only card they have left to play to act passive-aggressive to downplay their stupidity. Guilt shame insult? Need to be right? Refusal to understand? Literally checked all boxes. Guys, thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more daily content like subscribe and comment. See you in the next video guys, till next time.